Okay, so <laughs> no luck with the pause. Three separate videos it will be. I think it just doesn't hold a pause that long. This is the second of the two grand designs I have in mind for you. This is the Transcend. It's a little bit more um, off-roady, if that's, that's not a word, but I used it. Um, you still have two ACs, still 50 amps, still have the electric tongue jack. It's not a dropped frame, and what that means to you is the storage is a little bit smaller, but not by much. And it's about an inch taller ground clearance wise. It's 15 inch tires instead of 14. It has a larger fresh water tank, and it has a 185 watt solar panel. You might be able to see up there, maybe. And that has its own inverter, which will run some of your plugs and your refrigerator. So that's kind of cool. This uh, siding here, this is the only really, they call it in the industry stick and tin that I'd recommend for you. These guys are a, a notch above and I would put this siding right on line with any fiberglass model out there. In fact, it has a two factor better R R factor insulation wise. So on all the transcends, you're gonna have R40 insulation on the roof, R30 on the heated insulated underbelly, and then R9 in this case, and R7 walls in the Imagine, in that first uh, video there for you. So this one's a little bit less money, $39,995. One thing I like about Grand Design is they don't build one uh, trim level lower quality than the next so the quality of this build is just the same as any of those imagines over there <clears throat> in fact it still has the ladders to the roof it's still a fully walkable roof just a, a bit fewer amenities which you'll see when we go inside here so the outdoor kitchen is a little bit less but you still get the two burner stove and a little mini fridge awning goes out just as far this one also has the two entrances, one there into the bedroom, and then the one we're gonna go in here. Darker cabinetry, you'll notice that right off the bat, Mrs. Kruger, I hope. Um, still get the recliners, but you don't get the vibration and the heat and the pretty blue nightlight. Big whoop. Um, these do have the accordion style shades instead of the blackout. MCD blinds and this one instead of a removable table that last one you couldn't see it but that table comes out completely this one is a standard one that's on the little poles there uh, but that'll make into a bed as well so this has one slide out instead of two in the previous video so that's one reason for the lower cost still has a smart TV Still has a lot of storage, not as much. It's well done. Let's look at the bunk room first. So this, because you were explaining your boys are tall, this might only fit one each way. So this kind of might be a waste of bunk room space if they're not small kids. Small kids, you put four in here easy. But grown adults, you might just get two. But still storage here. One thing that this one has that the other one doesn't, if you remember Chris, is the half bath. So this is just a half bathroom, but it is a private bath for whoever's in the bunks. And this one has the walkthrough bathroom in between the living room and your bedroom. But because you have two sliding doors separating that and your own private entrance there, it doesn't bother me, but it does bother some people. Great big shower. All grand designs are going to have the porcelain toilet, no plastic. They don't put their heating vents in the floor, which I like if you have pets or just don't like cleaning stuff out once every six months. And all their beds are true. 60 by 80 queen beds you'll have storage underneath each of these and there's your second uh, air conditioner and a place for a television as well 
So just a little bit less fancy, but what, $7,000 less. But same quality build, same warranty, still my favorite, favorite brand. So because I don't know how to pause this, I'll do a third and final video for you folks on that, uh, on the Jayco, which will kind of be in between these two, I guess, at least price-wise. All right, we're going camping.